Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Alpas Arena, bathed in sunshine. An absolutely beautiful day in the southwest. And everybody really looking forward to this matchup. First against second in the Allianz Premier 15s. Probably got a little bit more for one side than the other, but there is still so much to play for in the minds of both teams. Florence McGovern hanging on to her feet, but still takes Gloucester for the first time into the extra 22. Monaghan gets the call. Oh, the little show and go. And Bridger breaks the bagel for Gloucester Hartbury. And we've not had seven minutes on the clock yet. Matthews getting in there, but not rolling away quickly enough. Chiefs threatening the line and getting the call. The finish is good from the extra Chiefs, and they're back in front. Gives the home side another chance to batter the black line. Bridger throwing it wide, comes loose though. Zachary, it is. Zachary gets the ball, it's a foot race from 45 metres and nobody is going to get to Kate Zachary. Superwoman does it again, doesn't need a Kate this time, but another very significant try from the visitors. Oh, Kate Zachary, just stop it. We liked you when you played eight, now you're playing 13, you do have unleashed this whole new side of you. Absolutely fantastic. Is that a 17th try now? It is. Season? She Gosh. only scored 16 last season, but maybe playing out in the centres allows her a, a few more opportunities, though, the way she plays. Yeah, trying to sniff out this short. third score. Hands away, Red. Hands away. Just short at the moment. Short. Short. All the way through right now. Sarah Cox getting into great position, and there is the third try. It can't be, can it? But it's a, just a sharp contrast for those teams, and I think you've also got to give credit to Exeter and how well they are playing. Sure. Because for them, this is imperative that they get the win. Gordon feeds outside, and suddenly the Cherry and Whites flood through. Neumann. I think that's Vanna, it's Vanna on the charge. Well, at last they do show what they've got. It is Lisa Neumann who's finished that off. And what an individual virtuoso score from the Welsh winger. Oh, it's so good to see her back herself like that. You know, she is one of the strongest players, a real athlete. And to see her have the opportunities, not only use her pace, but if she didn't have that strength with that bench, she would have been tackled, she would have been taken to the deck. What was key is when she made that initial line break, she kept the ball in two hands, which makes you think as a defender, it almost takes your urgency out of the hit because you want to be aware that there might be an offload. So just watch it when she comes through now. Bradley. Zachary through sliding through the hole. Can anybody stop Kate Zachary? Not on the Gloucester team, they can't. And that is the bonus point try scored by the Chiefs. And we're not up to half time yet. Oh, that was so good. I'm a bit guy for everyone at home watching this. You couldn't see that live because no matter how many times they're going to replay this, it's not going to do it justice. A couple of minutes wouldn't seem to concur with that theory. Quick transfer out. Leach walking into a two-year cul-de-sac. And there's the finish. Well, they do get reward for their efforts. I think it's Totozzi. I think it's the Canadian hooker that's uh, finished that one off. And the crap sets it up as... Gloucester work their way up towards the extra 22. Lovely offload from Bridger. And this is going to be try time, Gloucester. What a score that was. 
to below to finishes things off but Sophie Bridger take about no question who the architect of that one was for the home side Let it come. scrabbling the for the ball He's trying to ease it over on that far side just queuing up waiting for the next chance to drive and getting the try she folded in my side mate Shrouded. it's Rachel Johnson the number eight getting a deserved try reward for all our hard work so far this afternoon the take from her opposite number Rachel Johnson the drive backs coming in the ball moves referee happy to let it continue and the try comes no, as a consequence out we go no problem stand up stand up come up let's go robinson doing the dog and digging it out the transfer is there and eventually it's brooke bradley who gets the eighth try for the visitors and the scoreline tells you everything you need to know about this match now. Still five minutes to go, but there's only been one team in it. And it's going to allow Exeter right, to enough. clear their lines and clear this game with a hugely emphatic performance. We now know who the semi-finalists are and where they're going to play. It's going to be Gloucester Hartbury against Bristol Bears at King's Home. It's going to be extra Chiefs against Saracens at Sandy Park. And Susie Appleby's side doing everything that they needed to do this afternoon. 